Yo, what's up, everybody? Listen to this. Controlling the noise amount of a breakbeat pretty seamlessly, pretty in a very natural way. How am I doing this and what am I doing? I've been testing some of the new Bitswig Spectral Pack plugins a little bit, and I really found myself liking this one. So what is it doing and what is it? This is the loud split plugin, which splits the signal into three parts. You have the loud part on top. You can solo these. A lot of power there. The, the middle loud. And the quiet signal. Let me disable this and let's listen to this once more. You will hear that there's some noise and crackle in this signal. And now it's much more clean in terms of high noise. Or I can make it really, really noisy. I could even pan the noise. Except I'm actually monoing that. If I wasn't. But I just wanted to keep it mono for now. So how it works is you set these thresholds. Let me actually make a copy of this in case I mess this up like I sometimes do. I like to mess with signals till it works. I think Pensado said that. So you can solo these bands. And you set the threshold here. If you go really high, you get too much of the signal. But I, I mostly want to find the noisy part of this drum loop. And either take it out or just boost it. So it takes a bit of trial and error. And obviously you can mess with this forever. Also, if you click on this, it'll solo this part momentarily. So what I'm doing is I, I think I found nice settings for the quiet signal threshold, and then I'm able to control the level of that. And also I could pan it. So this allows me to control the level of the noise. It becomes much more calm here. Or I could make it noisy. Sometimes in hip hop, I think Noisy stuff is part of this old school hip hop. And sometimes it's actually pretty charming once you boost the noise. And you don't always want to necessarily want to boost the noise, but you want to boost a low level signal that may actually improve the tone of the break. Because if you feel that if this was too muffled for you, it makes it noisier, yes, but it also makes it brighter. So not every break beat will have some noise in it. So go clean or go noisy. Why do I care? Well, I like to sample old things. I like new things as well, but sometimes I like to sample old vinyl and sometimes some drum breaks, for example, there's just too much noise and it becomes too loud. Also, sometimes bringing up the low level signal actually improves the tone and the vibe of the signal. So this is yet another nice tool in the toolbox for shaping the tone of a signal. So definitely worth checking out. I will be testing the tools more, but so far this is pretty useful to me. Hope you dig.